scenes and so uh, Matt was always a lot of fun to travel with. Those of you that are watching the, the show and you know Matt from Muscle Discord, yes. you know, uh, I traveled the world with this guy. He was always fun to travel with and always reliable yes. and like super easy to travel with. Yes. You know, some people are hard to travel yeah, with. Yeah, we and you. We, you were easy, man. You're like, where do you we want to eat? I'm like, oh, we got an hour to kill. It was like yeah. just, it was just no was problem good. at all. So yeah, uh, yeah I really I look back on those times fondly, man. That was a good time. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. We are at the Gym Culture Show in Langley, BC, and I'm here with none other than Big Ron Partlow. And if you guys don't already know, we used to work together at Mutant. Yeah. And I haven't seen Ron in a long time, so it's great to see him here at the West Coast Iron Booth, sure. as you can see. Um, so I, I just finished my live stream on the Muscle Discord podcast channel, and I wanted to get a brief recap post prejudging. 2024 Arnold Classic Brazil, you know, take from an expert, Ron Partlow, uh, give us your thoughts on the top three. Um, well, I looked at some of the video and uh, some of the great footage on online, and I'm obviously not surprised to see uh, Brando in the middle, um, you know, especially, and not saying Brazil, but just, you know, he's, he's home, so, you know, the advantages of a home show, you always yeah. look at, like, the home guys, they don't have to do the big flights, they don't have to do all that crazy stuff, and you should be coming in at, you know, your best. Um, I'm not sure if he's at his best, obviously, I don't think he is at his very best, but I think he's, he's probably good enough to win. Um, he's just difficult to stand next to. Yeah, he is, I, so I, I watched the, the full live stream, and... Um, from what I see, Brandale still holding a little bit of water. I think he can he can move down a few percentage points in in, in the sense of body fat that right. could come down a little bit more, especially from the backside. Um, Tony Burton to me was in better condition than Raphael Brandale, drier, and um, but he's just lacking that size compared to Raphael. Raphael is very full and round, and you know uh, Tony has that roundness too, but it's just you can see there's a size difference there. Yeah. So if you're a little less conditioned, but you have the fullness, the roundness, and the size, and the symmetry, the aesthetics um, over Tonio. But the thing is, at the last, the final call, they left um, Tonio in the center. Yes. And they put Rafael in that second place position. So also give me your thoughts on good Vito. Uh, well, Vito's a freak. I mean, she's... Uh you know, I, I saw that picture Chris posted of him doing the back lat spread, and like I, he's, you know, his glutes are completely shredded, and he's one of those really crazy looking bodybuilders. Um, he doesn't have uh, the flow of, you know, say Brando, but um, I mean, he's definitely incredible. Like, you know, I, I, I'm very, uh, you know, these guys are at the very top of this this level, so. Um, these guys are freaks. That top five was very difficult and very competitive. Um, I love Vito's physique. I love the shots. I love the most muscular. I love the crazy legs. Yeah. Um, but he's not as, as flowy as uh, Burton or, or Brando. They sort of have more roundness to them in some ways. Yeah. There's, how do I say, Vito's got a few things on him that are just shaped differently. You know, and uh, that freak factor, which is cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think he's probably going to wind up, I think, probably third. Um, I, I could see an argument for him being ahead of Burton. Um, I have no problem with that because to me he's bigger um, and you know wider and stuff like that. But we'll just see. We'll just see. Yeah, my assessment on Good Vito is that I was impressed. I was kind of knocking him, saying, you know, this is his first pro show. He has the, he takes the great Instagram photos, but let's see how he looks on stage. Right. And and he 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 did prove himself. He brought probably the best conditioning in the show from the back. Maybe, and obviously from the quads as well, from the front. He's got the feathers in the quads. It's shredded. Yeah, yeah. Remind me of Jay Cutler's quads. Um, yes, I could see a, a, um, a good call on, say, he would be in second, potentially. But by how they did the prejudging, looks like he's going to be a, a solid third. Unless he changes for the finals, where they do uh, judge the finals. 50% yeah. right. for the prejudging, 50% yeah, for the finals. The exciting thing about the pro shows. You yeah. know, you, get, you can get a change. You get a change up tonight. It yeah. matters what they're going to do. Yes. So. He's going to be able to fill up, um, and so is Tony O'Burton. He can fill up a little bit, put a little bit more polish on. I, I messaged Tony right after. I said, Tony, you got to put on more oil. Dude, you look you look flat because you don't have that polish. Versus Brandale, he's got the, the oil perfect. Everything's fine there. So hopefully Tony O comes back a little fuller with more oil, 
And same with Good Vito. If Good Vito has the, he didn't have the oil. His color was off. Yeah. So um, it's gonna be a battle. It's a good show. Arnold Classic 2024 Brazil. Um, so let's talk about big round parlor here for a little bit. Okay. So what are you? What's the next mutant on a mission? What's the next gym you're headed to? I'm actually uh, leaving Sunday. Uh, I'm going to FIBO next weekend oh, yeah. in Germany. So we're going to FIBO in Cologne. This will, yeah. I think, be my 11th FIBO. Crazy. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, but I'm going to do a little stop in England on the way. Yes. And I'm going to go see James Hollingshead oh, okay. and, uh, and JP yep. at their new gym. Yes. And I'm going to train that. with James. He's going to be five days out from the Detroit Pro. But we're going to have oh, he's him. Doing the yeah, approach. yeah. But he's sticking around to see me. Wow. He's leaving the next morning for the States. So he's going to train with me on Tuesday. I'm going to do back with him. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I've trained with James before, but I was a little bit bigger and a little bit less retired. Yeah. So I, I hung in there pretty good But for that leg yeah. day we did a few years ago. Yeah. But uh, I told him, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep up to you the best I can. But he said, no worries, buddy. I'm five days out. So, yeah. so I'm pretty excited. Um, and uh, JP is going to make an appearance in the episode, too. He's going to come by and talk to us and show us the gym. And so I'm pretty excited. That's you know, awesome. uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy to still be doing that show. And obviously, you know, I do a lot of different gyms, you know, from completely unknown gyms to kind of the you know, more well-known legendary gyms I've been to. So to go to James and uh, and JP's new gym is, is yeah. really going to be a cool addition to the season, and I'm excited for it, yeah. That's awesome. And are you going to the GK Jungle Gym? Uh, to, to which? To, it's Giant Killer's Gym. Oh, Giant Killer's Gym, yes. So I have talked to Sean, and we are lining something up. I've got another gym in Texas okay. that I want to go to for another reason do two in one or yeah so i'm gonna do a kind of a double hit in yeah. texas coming yeah. up here and uh, i'm gonna see sean's gym i'm gonna give sean a little time to get uh, a little bit the more of his equipment in there the he said he's got to put some stuff up <laughs> yes. and all that sort of stuff so i'm not gonna rush him no luckily i've got a few episodes in the can already okay. so i'm not in a hurry to film we've got yeah. plenty of content yeah. coming and i'm excited for this season yeah. season nine matt season nine yeah yeah if everyone who doesn't know or doesn't remember that uh, first gym was dino's gym Yes. In um, 2014. Solly Hill. Yeah. yeah and um, yeah. so, man, nice. season nine, it's been crazy yeah. that you're still kicking it and, and doing been, it. You, you came to a lot of those yeah, with me. Yeah. Like, we traveled all over the world shooting gyms, and you would come and help me out yeah, and help the out scenes. the videographer yeah. and do behind the scenes. And so, uh, Matt was always a lot of fun to travel with. Those of you that are watching the, the show and you know Matt from Muscle Discord. Yeah. You know, uh, I traveled the world with this guy. He was always fun to travel with and always reliable yeah. and like super easy to travel with. You know, some people are hard to travel yeah, with. Yeah, we and you. We, you were easy, man. You're like, where do you want to eat? I'm like, oh, we got an hour to kill. It was like yeah. just, it was just no was problem good. at all. So, uh, yeah, I really I look back on those times fondly, man. That was a good time. Awesome. So, we'll wrap it up here. The Vancouver Pro is coming up. Uh, your gym is always rocking during the Vancouver Pro. Give people a little bit of information about your gym and what to expect during that that time. Well, we, we always you know pride ourselves on being the gym where you know everybody in in that area of the industry you know the competitive side obviously the pros everyone like that you're always welcome down at West Coast and when the big shows come to town like the Van Pro we want everybody down there where, you know we want to take care of everybody we don't charge any of the competitors to come in a lot of people show up a week early to finish their yeah. preps they're welcome at the gym we're not going to charge them uh, we want everybody to feel like they've got a home away from home. Um, make sure all their friends and, and their family and their support teams get in to train and, and really just make everyone feel like uh, uh, they're welcome at West Coast. I know the Van Pro is now a little bit farther out of town, so it's a bit of a drive, but most people don't care. They, they, they get those last couple workouts in on the, you know Wednesday, Thursday. They don't mind the drive. So, uh, But yeah, come on down for, to West Coast. I mean, we love having you. Who are some of the pros that you know off the top of your head? Because there's been so many, but some of the big names that have been there. Oh, well, I mean... We have, we've had everybody that's done the Van Pro in there from, you know, Ian Valera to Hottie Chupon to Nathan Diash to Big Rami. Big Rami. You know, Big Rami came to guest pose that one year at the Popeyes and he came and trained at our gym for almost a whole week. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's it's been awesome. You know, we've had Flex Lewis in there, had Bumstead in there a bunch of times. Bumstead. I mean, Bumstead and Ian and that whole clan, they came out during the uh, pandemic and they, they killed some time at our yeah. gym while we were open and their gyms weren't. And we had them for almost a whole summer there that one year. And it was it's just uh, really great to get the support from those guys. You interviewed Sam Solik. Yeah. Tell me about him and how it was talking to him and being around this sensation Sam Solik. Yeah. So uh, I was at the Arnold UK. It was uh, Saturday at the Expo. The Expo had just started. And I was at the booth. And it was crazy busy, right? 
And my phone rang and it was Ian Valer. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I got to answer this. So I answer it. Ian's like, hey, do you want to interview Sam Sulik with me? Because Fuad is very ill. He got sick Yeah, he suddenly. was coughing and stuff. And uh, he wasn't coming to the expo that day. And I said, well, sure, I'd love to. When do you need me? And he said, 20 minutes. And I was like, well, geez, it's going to take about 20 minutes to get to the stage because yeah. you know, it's packed. Yeah. So I said, I'm on my way. Awesome. And uh, that was it. I just ran down to the, the, the main stage. And Kevin Lavrone was just finishing his talk. Yeah. So it was completely packed. packed. Yeah. Like all the seats and people just jammed up to the yeah. front row of booths there. And at the, you know, you know how prejudging yes. looks at the Olympia, yes. you know, crazy. Just the expo just crammed you know, in that crazy end. Fans there, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I guess we're going to have a packed house for yeah. this. And yeah. um, I had I had briefly met Sam the night before at Dino's okay. gym. So I, I had just enough of a, hey, good to see you again, you know, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. And um, and once we, uh, there we go, make sure we're on there. Right. Yeah, you hit it. And and uh, so I just said, hey, how's it going? And me and Ian joked around with him for a minute. And then we went out and not, uh, interviewed him in front of everybody. And uh, if you want to see that Sam Sulik interview, it is up on YouTube. Yeah. There's a couple of versions of yeah. it. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun, you know. And That's awesome. It's, uh, it's always uh, interesting to interview somebody with absolutely no preparation, especially when you barely know the guy, you know. But Sam is such an easy kid to talk to. Yeah. He's he's so relatable. And, um, you know, he, he understands how it works. Yeah. Like, He's there to talk, you know, so it, yeah. it, it was great. Yeah, awesome. crowd loved him. Awesome. Well, guys, we'll wrap it up here. And um, thank you, Ron, for joining me on the Muscle Discord podcast. And I uh, hope to, you know, see you again. I'll have to come down to the gym during the Van Pro and see the pros and see Ron and you're, everything. You're welcome to come down and interview anybody you want. Like, just come down and operate out of the gym yeah. if you want, buddy. Awesome. All yeah, right. thanks, man. All right, I appreciate it. Okay, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>